Welcome to DX Sudoku training video number 10, revised version. In this video, we will present a revised version of our DX Sudoku video number 10 on advanced puzzle solving technique called W-Wing. We will present a simpler, more effective algorithm for finding W-Wings within a puzzle. And we will present a new, more refined terminology to help you understand the W-Wing pattern. Consider the following Sudoku in progress. The first thing we're going to do when searching for W wings is highlight all the cells having two possible candidates. Next we are going to search through each cell looking for W wings with other cells having the same two possible candidates. We do not find any W wing patterns until we get to cell 4 comma 7. We highlight the two cells we are considering with a light purple background. The two cells with the light purple background are called the endpoints of our W wing. Next we identify our W wings kill zones. The kill zones are defined by cells sharing a same house with one of the two endpoints as shown in light red. Next we identify any possible candidates in our kill zone we are, will try to kill. We may or may not find any candidates in our kill zone we can target. Targets are cells having the same candidates as in our endpoints. We find a possible 4 candidate in cell 5 comma 9 which is now circled. Many times when we consider two possible endpoints for our W wing, there is just nothing in the kill zone to target. So it's good to consider the kill zone early in the process of finding a W wing. For the W wing pattern to work, trying to kill four means the possible four candidate is our anchor candidate shown in dark green within our two endpoints. This means the other candidate, now shown in dark purple, in our endpoints, we will call the traversal candidate. The next step is we highlight all the cells having our traversal candidate as shown. This new step of highlighting all the cells having the traversal candidate is what makes our new algorithm much easier to understand and faster to find a W-wing pattern. What we are looking for is a traversal path between the two endpoints having exactly three steps. We find one as shown. Each cell in our traversal path must have the candidate we designated as the traversal candidate. There is one more consideration before we confirm this is a valid W-wing pattern. The second step in our traversal must be between two cells having the traversal candidates with an either-or type link between them. There are several types of links between candidates. The first type of link we will consider is called a strong link. A strong link occurs between two candidates. If one candidate is false, the other must be true. Note that both candidates can be true at the same time. The next type of link we will consider is called a weak link. A weak link occurs between two candidates. If one candidate is true, the other must be false. Note that both candidates can be false at the same time. Links can occur between two different candidates in the same cell, or the same candidate between two different cells. And the last type of link we will discuss is called an either-or type link. An either-or type link is both a strong link and a weak link at the same time. Both candidates can't both be false. And both candidates can't both be true. If one is true, the other is false. And if one is false, the other is true. When we look at row 6, we have an either-or type link between the possible one candidates in the two cells. The possible one candidate has to occur at least once within the house making up row 6. The rule is, for it to be a valid W-wing pattern, there must be an either-or type link in the second step of the traversal path between the two endpoints. So it looks like we have a valid W-wing pattern. The target candidate is now highlighted in dark red as shown. Let's now confirm our logic just to be sure. There are two possible test scenarios to consider. The first scenario we have a 1 in cell 4 comma 7 and a 4 in cell 5 comma 3. All the logic is shown. Our target candidate is destroyed. In the second scenario, we have a 4 in cell 4 comma 7 and a 1 in cell 5 comma 3. All the logic is shown. Again, our target candidate is destroyed. We have confirmed we have a valid W-wing pattern. We remove the non-possible candidate from the puzzle. We are left with a naked single in cell 5 comma 9. Let's take a look at one more example of how to run the algorithm, but we will do it much quicker this time. Consider the following Sudoku in progress. 
Our first step is to highlight all the cells having only two possible candidates, as shown. We will check for a W wing with each cell having two possible candidates. We consider cell 2, 1 and another cell as possible endpoints for W wing. This can't be a W wing since the endpoints are in the same house. Consider the next cell and a new set of possible endpoints for a W wing. Again, this can't be a W wing since the endpoints are in the same house. We move to the next cell and a new set of possible endpoints. This could be a W wing. We identify the kill zones. Both kill zones have both endpoint candidates, so we'll have to try a traversal pass for both possible candidates. We first start by targeting the possible three candidates. We use the possible seven candidate for traversal. We highlight all the cells having a possible seven candidate. We do not find any traversal path between the endpoints having exactly three steps. We target the possible seven candidates. We use the possible three candidates for traversal. We highlight all the cells having the possible three candidate. We do not find any traversal path between the endpoints having exactly three steps. Therefore, these endpoints are not part of a W wing pattern. We consider the next set of endpoints. These endpoints are in the same house, so they can't be part of a W wing pattern. We move to the next cell and a new set of possible endpoints. This could be a W wing. So we next identify the kill zones. Only the possible seven candidates occurs in our kill zone, so we only have to consider the possible nine candidate for traversal. We highlight the target candidates in our kill zone in dark red. We are now showing all the cells having a possible nine candidate highlighted. This time we do find a traversal path having exactly three steps, and the cells making up our second step have an either or type link. So we have found a valid W wing pattern. We visually validate our logic and we remove the non possible candidates from the puzzle. Time to test what you have learned. Before we begin, please take some time to support the X Sudoku. Thank you for your support. Consider the following Sudoku in progress. Pause the video and find the W wing before continuing. If you were unsuccessful, we have identified the two endpoints making up the W wing. Pause the video again and identify the kill zone, target candidates to delete, the anchor candidates, and the chaining path from one endpoint to the other. Here is the solution. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. Pause the video and find the W wing before continuing. If you were unsuccessful, we have identified the two endpoints making up the W wing. Pause the video again and identify the kill zone, target candidates to delete, the anchor candidates, and the chaining path from one endpoint to the other. Here is the solution. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. Pause the video and find the W wing before continuing. If you were unsuccessful, we have identified the two endpoints making up the W wing. Pause the video again and identify the kill zone, target candidates to delete, the anchor candidates, and the chaining path from one endpoint to the other. Here is the solution. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. Pause the video and find the W wing before continuing. If you were unsuccessful, we have identified the two endpoints making up the W wing. Pause the video again and identify the kill zone, target candidates to delete, the anchor candidates, and the chaining path from one endpoint to the other. Here is the solution. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. Pause the video and find the W wing before continuing. If you were unsuccessful, we have identified the two endpoints making up the W wing. Pause the video again and identify the kill zone, target candidates to delete, the anchor candidates, and the chaining path from one endpoint to the other. 
Here is the solution. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. Pause the video and find the W wing before continuing. If you were unsuccessful, we have identified the two endpoints making up the W wing. Pause the video again and identify the kill zone, target candidates to delete, the anchor candidates, and the chaining path from one endpoint to the other. Here is the solution. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. Pause the video and find the W wing before continuing. If you were unsuccessful, we have identified the two endpoints making up the W wing. Pause the video again and identify the kill zone, target candidates to delete, the anchor candidates, and the chaining path from one endpoint to the other. Here is the solution. Please support DXadoku so we can continue making DXadoku training videos. To make a donation, click on the DXadoku channel link below. Then click on the Donate to DXadoku button to make a donation with PayPal or credit card. Thank you for your generous donation and support. This completes DXadoku training video number 10. Thank you for watching.